Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to use the Starjoy gold pencils that I got and I just did a video on swatching them. And I'm going to do this key here. Now one of the last video I did was swatching those. I'm going to use this book here. This is Hannah Carlson's book. And we have a key here. Now Color with Claire did a key and she had a combination of uh, these pencils to make a gold key. And I thought, well, I'm going to try out her color combination on this key here and see how these pencils work. Because I have no idea about all these color coded blips that these things have on them. <laughs> so I, um, I don't know what all these mm, things have their numbers and then they have like an O here on this one and an OY on that one and an O on this one. This one has CC and I found out CC is color correction and black is a GS. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. It's what it is. <laughs> so I'm going to use these kind of in the, uh, the same way that uh, she did in IS putting the dark colors on first and then um, bringing them to the center. I'm just going to work on this little piece here in the center and see how this goes. So I think she started with the um, sepia one and I think we're having the light come down this way on here so we're going to make it a little darker on this side. Why don't I bring it down so you can see it just a little bit better. Hold on. Okay. So we're going to put it in on this side a little heavier than we will on the other side. And I'm going to do this very lightly because I don't know how these pencils are going to work. Put a little shadow under those. Okay, we'll go to, um, that was the sepia. This one is going to be Tawny. And then we'll bring in Mango. And our lightest color is Maze. Then I think I'll bring in one more color. She didn't use the um, not quite white, whatever that color is. I've got to find it here. It's not on that tray. This one. Yeah, not quite white is a Y, if that <laughs> does anything for you. <laughs> and we'll just put that in the middle. Okay, then we will work our way back. We're going to put black, GS, the number on that's 118. I'll leave all this information in the uh, description box on the pencils that I've used. And I'll link it to her page also because I'm using her color combination. The sepia. Tony do 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 mango. <laughs> Mm 
and the knees. And we'll brush that off since I'm making a big mess. <laughs> okay. Well, that looks pretty decent. I don't know how you do that in these teeny tiny spots, but put a little black there and there in that area, a little sepia. The tawny. Mm -hmm. The mango. And the maze. Not that you see it very much down there, but we have a lot of um, shadow work going on. We'll do a little of that on these little things too. Just put the maze on first. I'm going to work backwards. And on the key. Tongs here. Um, usually when they put a little, like a flick mark, it's either where it's shadowed or where the uh, highlight is supposed to be. It's always an interesting choice. So I'm just going to kind of go over it. We'll add our dark in there somewhere. And I think I'll make those green. <laughs> okay, we'll go backwards. So we're going to put in the mango now. Tony. Sepia. And then go back in with the other colors. I haven't put black in here yet, but we'll get there. I didn't put any of that in over here, so I'm going to do that. Black would go down here in the darkest areas. It's a shadowed area. That part's raised.
we want to bring in some of that not quite white color. Maybe a little bit more of the sepia color here too. Interesting looking key. Okay, I want to get these cleared out a little bit because that's the background paper, so we'll just bring that up a little bit. And this is the Tawny. white in there later. We have the whole top of the key up here to play around with. We have some um, really pretty little dragonfly wings here. So we'll put a little of that gold up at the top. And we'll start off with the light again, but we're not going to do all of it in it. These little like leaves here and this piece here are not going to be gold. Neither is any of this coming down. So anything that looks like a, a leaf we're leaving alone. So we'll just go around and put some of this color down and this is where we're going to put the golden color. It sounds scratchy, but it's really not. It goes down quite smooth on the paper. I mean, it's not dragging. It just slips around. If you're wondering how the pencil works. So those are the areas that I want to put the gold in. And then everything else will be done kind of in the leafy color that I want to put on down there. So, let's see. Let's put some shadows in here with the <laughs> mango. The uh, tawny comes in next. Well, I didn't do that one. Okay.
I want that to go that way. <laughs> And just go in with the darker color. It's the same as the bottom. back in with the tawny to blend that in a little better Sure is using the right one. <laughs> Do, 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 do. A little more of that little sepia bit. We didn't get any up here, that's why I need to use it.
Okay, we're going to throw in a little more of that mango in here. I think I'm going to bring in a little um, barbecue. Barbecue is a, I don't know, S. <laughs> I just want a little tiny bit of red in here. over it with the sepia down here. A little bit of the black because I want that line to look like a line. There we go. Okay, I finished the rest of the pencil or the key off camera. Sorry, um, battery was really low. So I'm going to work on these like leafy parts here. And I brought in the one you can't read, and it says hemlock on it. The number 65J, so it's a jewel tone. And then I've got the green gray, which I think they're going to be pretty together. So we're going to go ahead and go in with the um, green gray in this area here. And just lightly bring it out. down in here. Okay, then we'll bring in the hemlock. Putting a little more pressure on the edge here, and then just lightening it coming out. And these will just go up in here. Darken it right in there, and then just lightly bring it out that way. Okay, let's 
same with down here. We're going to go the opposite and see how that works. So we're playing around with these. Darken it up here. And then bring in the gray green. We'll bring that back in here too. We've got some leaves up here too, so we might as well get those taken care of. And I guess we'll go up this side of these. about those. I'm going to get a different color. We're going to go in with, um, I think we have a, a lighter green I'm going to bring in. So I'm looking at the color chart, like a pale sage. So number 30. Let's check out that color. Without dropping it all over the place. Yeah, I like that. Get that shaded just a little bit better here. So sometimes they, excuse me, blend a little better when you go light to dark and sometimes dark to light, so. I have to figure that one out. Bring in that light down in here. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have this 
the level coming down and we have the wings. So we've got uh, tones of blue and purple and pink that I'm going to try to do the wings in since we're like dragonfly. Okay, so we're going to bring in blues first. I picked out baby blue and galaxy blue. So I'm not sure how these are going to flow, but we're going to <laughs> put a little blue on this side here. And just kind of go up to the second part up there. Do the same thing here. Nice pale blue. And then we're going to put in a little bit of the galaxy blue kind of in and under here. Lightly faded into the baby blue. back in the baby blue baby blue here. We're going to bring in a little bit of gray violet on top of that baby blue. Bring a little in here too. And pull a little out into that one. Now this one we're going to bring in some jewel purple. <laughs> Did I get the purples right? Because the pink's going to be in the little hand. I'm going to bring some of that purple out over that blue, too. Okay, then we're going to bring in the pink. First pink is Midsummer. Bring it into that purple. And the last color is Princess Purple, which has got a pink tone to it.
Okay. Back over it with the light pink. And we forgot to do that with the um, light purple, so we're going to go in there with that. And for the dark one there, I gotta think about. So we'll do the same thing on the uh, top wing. We're gonna go in with a little bit of the blues. I'll do the other side off camera. <laughs> so this is our baby blue. Gonna bring up, then we'll mix it in with the did that gray violet. And we'll bring in the midsummer pink. Those are the light colors, then we'll bring in the darker colors to go with them. First, the galaxy blue. isn't the pink one so it's the next purple the jewel purple Princess pink, purple, sorry, princess purple. colors again go back over them this is the gray violet more pressure midsummer pink which is not right it's midsummer maybe it's okay midsummer pink not used to color names yet. Put that in here too. Then we're gonna bring in some white. Oh, Prism my white. We're just gonna blend it in here. Just 
to soften up some spots. Okay, let's see if we make these green, that'll bring up that green in there and I'll like that. So we'll go in with the, let's see, how did I do? I brought the lightest one in last, so we'll go in with the hemlock first. And the gray one. Where'd you go, gray one? Gray green. Sage. Just darken it up a little bit. Sorry, I can turn the book so I get the right angle here. Very lightly blend that color out into the other ones. Take some of these um, jewel tones up into this flower. We want to do this one in pink. So we're going to start off with the midsummer pink. some pink in here. I don't think that's about it. Okay, we go in with the princess purple. Okay, a little touch of white in that. OK, 
Okay, then we will go on over to the, um, I don't know if we want to bring in a blue there or the other purple. The blue, because that galaxy is pretty. So we'll do the um, baby blue in here first. Then we'll do some the dark purple up there. a little bit of the um, midsummer pink in here. Okay, and up at the top, up in this little area here, we'll do the uh, darker purple. That was the gray violet, and then we're going in with the jewel purple. Bring a little of that down in here too. rock. We'll add a little purple into these. A little pink. Okay. Ribbon. Do 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 do. I'm going to go ahead and finish these off camera and then I'll come back in and we'll see what the ribbon color should be. Okay, that's what we have so far. So we've got the uh, pinks and the purples, the greens, and the brown. And now we have to do the ribbon. Now I have a choice of either bringing <clears throat> in another color, which I really don't want to do, or using the ones we have here. I'm just trying to go with the color, probably the blue, since we don't have a ton of the blue, the purples seem to stick out a little bit more. So the blue tones with maybe a hint of, because I like how the uh, pinky purple came through there. So. We'll just put those up there and use these and we'll go through and put down a layer of the um, baby blue. Let's see if I can't get just the ribbon in here. Probably not. I mean it goes all the way down so we'll start down here. <laughs> So just the light coating of baby blue. bring in why don't we just go right in with the gray violet 
um, use it kind of like a shadow. This is a turn of the ribbon. So one would be dark and then the other part would be light. This is a shadow here because this one comes out from the other side. Underside of the wings, so we're going to make that dark. Er, I mean, it's not exactly dark. <laughs> okay, pick one here, make this the dark part. And pull it out on that side. Okay, up here. This one is under here, so we'll make that one darker. This one's darker. This one under here is way darker. And that one's going to be really dark. This one's going to be really light. Okay, we'll bring in some of the uh, princess purple. We'll make that one have some of that color. we put any purple or pink, midsummer pink in here too. Galaxy Blue.
this one Okay, do these two up here. Baby blue. some of the um, princess purple I'm putting on pretty heavy pressure here to get that to come through but I want a nice pretty shade there Then I'm just going to go back over it with the darker blue. So we have our pink undertones, and our purple undertones, and then our dark blue. Throw in some white here. I think I need to sharpen that. There we go. And we'll just put in some highlights in here. Oh, 
Still away a little chunk. <laughs> This nice deep jewel tone purple. Bring that in in the shadowed areas. up any little spots that we have that look white. Then I'm going to bring in black if I can find it. How about indigo? Indigo would be nice. It's a nice dark blue color. Hopefully it'll show up blue. <laughs> dark enough. I have black prisma sitting here so we'll just use it. There we go. We're gonna go over these lines a little bit here and bring some of that color in to where it needs to be shadowed. A deeper color in there. just go over it and smear that black out a little bit. have a nice ribbon here. Just gonna add the highlights since I brought in the darkness. Gotta have both 
high and dark colors. So there we go. So that's two pages I've done with these uh, star gold pencils. So I've done this one. Hold on and I'll get the camera up and I'll show you the other one. So we have uh, this one done in this page and this is in the Hannah Carlson book. And this one here in the Botanicum book by uh, Maria Troll. So I've used the same pencil set and got two different um, palettes out of it. One a very, very soft palette and one a brighter palette. This paper was just so smooth it was easy to get all the muted colors on it and I used all the muted pastels. Uh, the muted pastel pinks and purples and blues along with uh, some very soft grays and a little soft green in here to get that palette done. There's a video for that. I'll link it down below. And then this one is more vibrant and bright. I used the jewel tones and um, a few of the softer colors but only for the um, highlighted areas. So, two different looks you can get from the same set of pencils. They're a little learning curve to them. They do have some nice colors. Um, I haven't really tried skin tones or anything with the skin tone, tone set. But, I mean, I'll keep them. <laughs> They're nice. They lay down uh, really good on smooth paper. You can do them real lightly. The, this paper, uh, Hannah Carlson paper, is a little more textured, a little thicker than this paper in this book. So when you do really, really, really light coats, unless you're in for the long haul of doing, you know, 15 coats with the pencils, um, you have to press a little harder to get the brightness to come out. But they, they cream up really nice especially if you use a um, blending type. I just use the Prisma uh, white pencil. Uh, this set does not come with a white pencil, so you do have to use a different white if you want to um, do some highlighting with it. So, you know, your white of choice. <laughs> it blended really nicely with it. So, there you go. That's both of the pages I've done. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'll leave a link down for this video. And... Um, can watch it or if you've already seen it you know how I did it. I had fun doing this one. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye now.